Hello there, I am Giant Grotal with more Pokemon Diamond Redux. In the last part, we got here to the, well, well, we went through the one big mine, I should say, and we covered stuff in the town. We covered a bit of 207, but we couldn't cover all of it because we don't have a bicycle to go up that slippery slope. So today will be a short part. I have, as you can see on the bottom screen, I have Chimchar up front, but I'm going to switch that to um, Rose. So let me just do that. Yeah. So yeah. Let's talk to the device giver. Howdy, how is it going, champ to be? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier. Too. Yeah, I wonder who that was, who that could be, you know? The gym leader is a user of rock type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock type Pokemon really hate water, all right? They also uh, weak. They they're also weak to grass type moves. Gee, they sure have some weaknesses. But don't take this. Don't think it will be easy. You don't. You get to be a gym leader without covering the, for weaknesses. G going after a rock type Pokemon with a fire type Pokemon like my Chimchar would be a bad easy would be an easy won't be easy easy either. Uh, that's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. And if you look at the statue right here, it'll say um, one big Pokemon gym leader Rourke, classified trainer uh, Sam. Of course, Sam beat this gym. So yeah, um, I'll show you a way to get through way off the battle any trainers. If you go up here on the staircase, if I can get up there, that'd be great. There we go. Looks like a chocolate bar bridge. Like, this actually looks like a chocolate bar for some reason. I don't know, I'm weird. Okay, and then we go up this stairs too. And we go right here. We could automatically go and face the gym leader Rourke. But experience is your friend. I'm going to take on these trainer battles. And uh, I'll add music to them, I guess, so, like any other trainer battles. So yeah, the support will be very short. Uh, only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. That got me thinking, what that youngster said, he kind of rhymed with his dialogue there. Any, anyway, let's take that on the other youngsters, there's only two trainers in this gym, so, that's all. Uh, you, av you avoided the long way around, let's see why you'd do that. Yeah, cause I wanna battle you for the experience, bro. Let's go. Yeah, and I just realized that what I said the last youngster, I rhymed to go with bro, so I rhymed with my dialogue too. Um, I'm, my Badoo, ro my Badoo, my Rose is, um, in really good shape. So let's just not even go back to the Pokemon Center and let's just take on Rourke. Let's do this. Okay, welcome. This is the Orenberg Pokemon Gym. I, Rourke, the gym leader. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one, I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with a rock type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I need to see the toughness of your Pokemon that battle with you. So let's take on Roik. He looks all happy in that hard hat, but he has to go down. We're gonna get our fresh gym badge right here, right now, after this battle of course. So not exactly right now. Okay, so it's G-Dude. He has a G-Dude. Level 12. Nothing big. Hopefully I can one-shot it with um, Mega Drain, but we'll see what happens. Uh, if you use Grass and Water type moves, of course, on this Geodude and his Onyx, but not his Craniodos, because Crane is just pure rock type. But on his Geodude and Onyx, it'll be four times effective, super effective, I should say. So yeah, there we go. I one-shotted it with Mega Drain, and it helps that my Rose is level 15 too. In the last battle, Rose grew to level 15, as you saw there. So yeah, now he's gonna put now he's gonna send out his Onyx. So I'm not gonna switch Pokemon. I'm gonna try to go for an uh, a Badoo, a epic Badoo sweep. <laughs> so yeah, it's Mega Drain this Onyx to the face. Now keep in mind, um, I think that his Onyx and Jiu no Stealth Rock, which raises the speed of their um of their stats. So it raises it increases their speed stat by like one or two stages. So keep that in mind. But I just one shotted his Onyx with a Mega Drain, so it's not anything to worry about in my case. And with that, Rose grew to level 16. Rose is just getting up there in levels. Rose wants to word Worry Seed. What does Worry Seed do again? I forget. 
Let's see, um, a seed that causes worry and planted on foe. It prevents sleep from making it build, from making its ability. So, yeah, I don't really want to teach that. I'm not gonna... Yeah. So, yeah, well then. Give up on worry seed, yes. I did not, yeah, but dude did not learn worry seed. And not my cup of tea. I'll just skip out on it. Okay, now... His big bad Craniodos, his pure rock type Pokemon, will be level 14. It knows Headbutt, watch, watch out in pursuit, and watch out for those two moves. So, other than that, he should be good. And he has more Breaker, which I think, um, I figure what more Breaker does. I'll put it on screen right now what it does, the ability. Um, I'm gonna start with Stun Spore, just to paralyze it. Oh, there goes the Quick Claw. Nice. Stun Spore. And since Cranny Dust isn't half ground type, it's uh, it'll be effective because it's an rock type move, and it's good on it'll work on a rock type, pure rock type Pokemon. So you can use Headbutt. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. There goes my Qual qu again, or Rose's Quick Qual. So yeah, hopefully we we'll get some health back from this. Oh, it doesn't matter because Quick Qual, since it's already paralyzed, being paralyzed, um. Uh, um, cut your speed in half, I believe. So, like, I would have been faster than anyway. But, whatever, I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. Just pursuit on us. One more Mega Drain should do it. No way, not yet, not giving up. I'm sorry, Roy, but it looks like the end. Oh, you used the potion. Okay. It still might be then for you, because that still might be enough to faint it. This Mega Drain. So, I'm sorry, but your Cranius, the Cranius dust has to go down. I have to beat you, Roy. You're a gym leader. It's what I have to do. And with that, Cranium Dose goes down. Yeah. Oh, it's a sad cry when it faints. I feel bad for it. I used Cranium Dose in my um, Pokemon Di original Pokemon Diamond. Redux Walk the Guide. But yeah, after that... Yeah, what? This can't be my buffered up Pokemon. Thanks for, 16 thanks for the 1,680 Poké Dollars. This is embarrassing. I went to and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's tough. You're not. You you were strong, and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge, since you since you've beaten me, the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League gym cool badge. Yeah, we received the cool badge from work. Awesome. Yeah, having the cool badge means your Pokemon can now use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. You should also take this too. Obtain TM76, which I think is Stealth Rock, which I explained in battle. He'll explain it right now. Yeah, it's Stealth Rock. That TM76 contains the move Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on... Oh, poke foes that... Oh, I was thinking of a Rock Polish. My bad. Um, yeah, Stealth Rock is like, um... Yeah, he'll explain it right here. It's a move that inflicts damage on foes that switch into battle. Um, in incidentally, I put TM with will teach its move to a Pokemon instantly, but a TM will break when you use it. So make certain you want a Pokemon to to learn that move. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk to the Vice Giver then. Oh, Steven, you've taken care of the gym leader. So, did my advice come in handy, or what? If you, if my advice was useful, I'd be great if you'd become my fan. Why don't you become my fan, you, you advice giver? Okay, I'm Boric Pokemon Gym Leader Roik. Classified Trainer Trainer Sam Steven. Cool, we're on the statue now. And I'll show up the gym badge right now, actually. So, if I go here, and if I go click on my... To open my badge case. There it is on the bottom screen. Nice. Or in the big box right now. So you can polish your gym badge. And um, I'm, I'm using mouse cursor to do this. But um, you can polish your gym badge and eventually it gets very shiny. So let me do that. So I have this. I'm moving my desks around when I'm moving my mouse around. So yeah. But there we go. We gotta be all shiny now. Nice. So there's that. Okay, I'm gonna go into the um, Pokemon Center in here real quick. As you can see now on the bottom screen, I switched uh, Inferno to the front of the party because he's only level 13 and Rose is level 16 now. 
So yeah, let's just get out of Warnberg City, I guess. Thud. Whoops, Steven, you got the gym badge, huh? It turned out City is the next place with a gym badge that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't get through there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughened them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilife City. Next stop, the the Turner Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. Blah. Bah. Who has time to count? Yeah. So yeah, Cody will um just do that. But I'm gonna cut the part right here. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redux Walk the Guide part. In the next part, we'll take on, uh, hopefully going back to Jupe Live because we have to backtrack. So yeah, this has been Gianco again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redux Walkthrough Guide.